All right, I'm back. Um, let, let's retry this all over again. <laughs> I mean, losing losing is a pretty humbling thing, um, but but that's all right. I mean, I've been this before, um, and and losing because um, I don't have my troops position correctly or I don't work the right rooms. That's that's fine with me. Um, I think the main thing is I underestimated um, uh, the need for charging and micro. Especially on the left flank where I only have um, three units, I should have very good micro control those three very, very well. But it did not. <sighs> I didn't really use my Dragoons properly either to charge and attack and charge. So let's, um, let's do this all over again. I mean, the computer is a lot smarter than when I fought him the first time around because they kept a unit of horses in the back to guard their cavalry, right? The lifeguard hussars. Um, and that stopped my horse from going in there and just totally destroying the artillery. Okay, we're gonna do sort of a variation of um, of what we did last time. I still think, I still think, <coughs> getting the horse artillery here, <coughs> attacking them from the center like this is is the key. Right? I still think that's the key. <coughs> uh, but um, we're gonna see if we can put them a little bit um, deeper into the forest so that the. Uh, the, the young guard and the old guard have uh, have uh, have a better time in the forest and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and uh, um, we're gonna try and have them both support each other right um, because um, uh, not having them support each other is is uh, it's not very good we don't have the troops to basically um, have our Have our Harvard troops sitting around doing nothing. Uh, just give me a second here. Uh, I still think using the artillery is going to be key to beating them um, and attacking them on the flank with with the dragoons and the and the Carassia. But maybe I shouldn't await to charge the dragoons and the caress here. Maybe I should do it at the at the very start, right? Um, maybe we can bring the horse artillery. Uh, it really is a fight down to the last man, you know, because uh, you run out of ammunition and you run out of uh, you run out you run out of uh, you run out of troops actually to to fight. So if you go like this, and I'll put my young guard on the on the right uh, on the right flank instead of the instead of the old guard. And what I'll do, I will um, um, I will have them far stretched out like this. Maximize their firepower rate. And then I will use my Karasir and Dragoons. Um, both of them. To, to, attack, to attack the flanks. It's gonna be what I do. Napoleon, of course, will be um, right over here. Uh, and I'll have.
got my three groups of Fusiliers moving right over here as well. But I'll have to make sure that I um, that I pay attention to them. So when the horses come, they have to go into square because if they're not in the square when the horses come, I'm screwed. Um, I mean, it really is not a lot to play with, right? They're not, they're not giving you a lot to play with here. Um, and more, more backup artillery here. That should come up. And keep them here close closer to the the hill here I mean I've set it to maximum firepower um, the longest thinnest longest line possible right um, and hopefully that's that's the right decision Speed it up a bit. And then sending three Fusiliers to the left flank there. Um, hopefully that's the right decision too. I mean, we've got uh, one, two, Three, three Fusilier units that are moving to, to the left flank there. I mean, in theory, I could keep all my forces together, but I, I don't want to do that. Um, because the horsemen, if I, if I can't neutralize the left flank, the horsemen are gonna um, do a lot of, create a lot of problems for me later on, right? So I need to go and square on the left flank to deal with the horsemen. Um, And, and here, the, here come the artillery, the horse artillery. Uh, now they're ready. Now if I can keep these horse artillery alive for long enough, they should be able to um, do a lot of, uh, wreak a lot of havoc. And the last time I didn't keep them alive because I didn't keep my, um, so what I can do I think is keep my dragoons behind my, um, behind my horse artillery and if if it looks like that my horse artillery are about to be charged I'll send my dragoons in to protect my artillery that's what I'll do I need to protect my artillery that's what I need to do do this here and bring my uh, Young guard here. Now, where will I put my um, artillery here? On on here. Maybe on the flank here, like I had originally planned to do, so they could rake rake the Russian flank here not to the center. Um, here we come with the, uh, the French flank on the left. for the getting ready for the fight here and let's see the canister shot how far they can shoot it's uh, pretty close not not close enough yet so 
have the dragoons here. Like this. And Napoleon himself. Um, he can give a boost to the allied allied units as well, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. And let's go into canister. See if we can defeat this lifeguard somehow. Alright, everyone's in position, um, we just need better micro, especially because we have a pause button, we have no excuse for not having good micro, right? Um, and, and here come the horses, Also, the horses start charging fairly early, even when their infantry is already um, on the on the way and that's the reason why um, uh, we don't really uh, we don't really get a get a chance to uh, to go go in um, hopefully my horse here goes after after their horse and we're gonna have to be consistently pausing to check out what's going on here um, yeah, I go here. A little bit of friendly fire from the cannons, but that's fine. The dragoons, they're fighting. Uh, let's fight these dragoons. We're gonna keep our, our cannon alive here. Um, where's Napoleon himself? I mean, Napoleon himself can charge. <laughs> and this is why it's uh, pretty hard because the horses are already here, right? Look at the French horse here, they're running around, pissing off, they're not engaging the, the horse there. Um, let's do this here. I mean, they're, they're getting shot up, right? A lot of them are getting shot up. Um, let's see this here. They, they, they aren't charging my cannons yet. And, and let's check out the left flank here. I mean, they're in square now, they're shooting, and the French, uh, the French horse are not, are not, are not, they're not fighting. They're just, they're abandoning everything. Um, that's pretty annoying, but hopefully the French horse, I mean, saving them does something. Um, if I'm going to sacrifice my Fusiliers and square for them, um, maybe, maybe it'll accomplish something. Um, Grenadiers of the line routing. Um, let's shoot these. They're, um, here we go here, young guard. They're shooting here, musketeers. Maybe what I can do is I can send my, my troops in right now to fight the musketeers. I want to save my horse though, right? Um, all right, looks like my grenadiers here in the center are routed. Let's go back and defeat these grenadiers here. There are a lot of troops left. There are a lot of troops left. Uh, a lot of enemies, enemies still have to fight. And I still haven't uh, uh, defeated any any of them here. I mean, here, um, running, confident here, confident. Uh, 
mean, maybe that was the point of the horse artillery to bring it to the left flank here so that I could basically have some artillery on the left. But uh, uh, they should last quite a while with the square here. Uh, should be should be fine. Uh, but let's let's see what what happens over here. Where's the artillery here that are that are on the way? Um, here it is. I mean, I'm keeping them alive because they're sort of all spread out and they're not really um, taking any casualties like that, right? Uh, what I can do here is I can give my artillery a boost here and then they can shoot faster um, right. ninety three out of one twenty here. Okay, that's that's down there. And then uh, through here is more artillery. I could definitely attack them on the flank get, to get ready for that if they're ready for that. My dragoons are still alive here. They're not really, not really shooting. Maybe I should get them off their horse and start shooting, but uh, I don't want to do that yet. Here are the lifeguard hussars attacking my fusiliers. And my fusiliers are, I mean, they're dying. Um, hopefully the, they keep just running around and they sort of can't really deal with my, with my square there. Um, that's what happens there. attack here and 159 77 I don't want to I don't want to have them retreat because I want to get them shot shot in the back but at the same time um, I think I'm just gonna have to let the cannon do its work here because uh, uh, if I try to run they'll take a lot of damage here Seventy seven, seventy six. That's fine. As long as the cannon can actually shoot him. Let's let's see this here. Um, one, two, three, and Napoleon himself. Let's have his troops. Let's have him back off a little bit here. And these ones here. Um, and what I can do here is send them here and have them start shooting. I mean, I want to protect my artillery but the artillery are not in danger right now and it looks like that there's a big melee happening in the center with what's left of the French um, allied forces I mean, another thing I can do is I can send my horse to the rear to try and uh, attack the artillery but as soon as I do that they'll detach some horse to attack me um, I mean those two Confident, winded. I don't want the the cannons. I don't know if the cannons are actually able to hit. Um, let's see if the cannon hits them, or if it just. Uh, I don't think the cannons hitting them, right? The horsemen are they're running towards the horsemen. I mean, it's fine. Um, Let's take this as a chance to go over here and tighten up your line.
And where is my artillery here that's on the way? I'm gonna go to this here. Alright, uh, this is where I can hit here. All my men are sort of like this. Uh, I think I need to I need to get ready to guard my artillery of my life because without my artillery I'm gonna lose this, right? Um, here they come the horsemen. Um, horsemen they're coming to try and find my horsemen. do is I can pull, make them a little bit tighter so that they can um, go into square formation if they need to to fight the artillery. Uh, I mean the issue is that I think what I can do is I can put my artillery like this and then I mean there's a lot of enemy forces bearing down on me right now, right? There's a lot. And, um, I mean, here I haven't even managed to... or not. the horses are down then I can go for the house but right now I can't do that and there's a lot of dragoons here um, um, they're getting ready to shoot and uh, have a horse artillery here another piece of artillery and I have my own dragoons here right um, and the question is um, can I protect my artillery that's the big question right? coming around here trying to chase after my horse apparently because that's that's what they like to do um if i lead them sort of on a wild beast chase maybe they'll they'll leave the center alone and i can i can defeat the infantry because right now this is what i have right now i have um napoleon himself and the the young guard in square and the old guard here are are shooting but they're vastly outnumbered. Um, uh, let's see what we've got here. Um, shattered, very tired. Looks like the horsemen are chasing them down. Uh, and I can't make it into the house. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Um, maybe I'll be able to. I'll be able to beat these these ones here. 
I mean, they're in line and they've got a they've got a horse, and the horse is only 13 units. Um, I I think I'm I'm I think I'm screwed here on, on the left flank again. I mean, I've never seen them the the computer ally act so badly. Um, not charge the enemy horse. Um, maybe maybe what I need to do is to. Um, um, Go for the house right away. <laughs> I mean, just forget about fighting an open battle. Just go for the house right away at the start. And uh, I'll have a better result than this because this is a pretty bad result here, right? Um, and, and there's no way I'll make it to the house if the house is over there and I'm going to be shot at as I move across like this. This is not a good situation here. This is, this is dead here. That's what it is. All right, you see? Uh, just because of those 13 horse, this is basically dead. Uh, maybe I can run into the forest here and, and get the hell out of there because it's all it is, right? So they defeated me on the left flank again. And um, it's not looking too good on the right flank, right? They've got too much horse going around. I don't know where all this horse is coming from. The horse didn't really come after my, uh, my fusiliers. There we go. They're coming. They're coming after my artillery now. Um, How much of this horse do I have left here? Um, I mean, they've got a lot of horse left. Um, horse artillery zero out of fourteen. My Dragoon's 52. Yeah, I think it's time for me to go into melee here. Forget about these lines of battle stuff. They run out of, they run out of bullets too, so the only thing they can do is fight. I'll do this here. Um, for uh, what I've got left. I don't have very much left here. Lifeguard Hussars and Musketeers. Musketeers here. Uh, I mean, there's still still units left in square. Uh, I charge these here. I 
And it seems that charge is the only way to beat them. This time around, because I don't have any... I don't have any more bullets other than my artillery, right? Alright. And we have musketeers here, a unit of 155. Um, some more lifeguards and grenadiers here. Uh, if we go here, we might be able to form square here. But to what end? Because we don't have any... Um, we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any bullets, right? And our artillery here. Looks like the musketeers are charging here as well. Uh, let's let's go here. We can't let this center basically perish because that's all there's left, right? Steady, concerned, attacked in the rear. Uh, maybe we'll go here like this. Here, what we got is more canister to kill these. Here come the horses here, right? And my dragoons are out of position here. Going to square. These old guard here can... I mean, they can also go into square. I mean, at least I have both artillery pieces sort of firing, but... Uh, these ones here, um, I think. Uh, I think these artillerymen are, are dead very soon. Right, and get the cannon going here. And uh, Count von Benningsen. I mean, let's let's charge these here. Can you give yourself the morale boost? And let's have the generals fight each other. Now, where are my horsemen? Uh, send them in. I mean, I've been keeping them alive so that they don't have to... Um, uh, so that they'll... They don't have to fight, but let's, let's go right over here and, and take a look. And there goes the cannon. The cannons are destroying them. And here are my French Dragoons, the 26 of them, to 103 Musketeers. Uh, I think I've got to attack. Alright, let's start using the cannons. Should be they should be routed soon. 
my dragoons, there's only 10 left. Okay, there I go. Uh, let's see what else I can do. I mean, the problem is I can't, I can't pivot them around to shoot the grenadiers here, right? These ones here. There's only a few of them left. Maybe the cannon, cannon can deal with it. 19. And let's see, Bennington. How many of Benningsons are alive? 11. They're losing. Dude. Let's have these Carassier. Um, Let's have this Karassia form up over here. Uh, there's one more, one more group, two more groups of Grenadiers. There's Grenadiers here and Grenadiers here. Um, and the question is, how do you beat these groups of Grenadiers that they're really good at melee fighting? Um, I mean, you still got 70 old guard and 46 young guard, which is great. Um, they cannot, they cannot shoot either. So the only thing you can do is basically fight with them, right? Uh, dragoons are running. I mean, you've got a full unit of horse left, which, which is what makes you think that you can possibly win when you're about to defeat their, their general here. Um, the there goes their their general is, is dead. Um, there's only three three of them left. And uh, let's let's bring these these two back. I mean, you have some, your, your units are, are, you have some um, well-formed units here, right? You can, uh, you can basically um, make your way back like this, right? But only if you can get these artillery to um, start shooting properly. I think the only thing I can do now is to, uh, Steady, losing slightly. So let's do that. I mean, these lifeguards are still still there. I didn't know they were still non-routed, right? Are they routing? Wavering, very tired. Um, confident, active, concerned. And where's the uh, the unit here, the the Bonaparte unit? I mean, their unit, their horse unit is done. So let's let's move it move it back here. I want to keep my general alive as long as I can. And uh, there's grenadiers here shooting. And sir, and frightening enemy unit. Very tired, wavering. Uh, why they aren't charging here? Shaken. Uh, okay, let's hope I can get the artillery in the fight. Because if I can, then I'll be fine. Um, the problem is they've still got a large number of units here. Musketeers running and some artillery. They've got three units of musketeers there. So my, because my left flank failed, I'm not to fight three more units. But I can possibly do that with, uh, with, with artillery. So I might, I might be all right. Um, it's become a, a big melee.
And there's another fully formed unit of grenadiers here. It. Let's uh, let's charge the grenadiers over there, because that's all I can do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I have a lot of cuirassiers. There's fifty of them. Shattered and routing. All right, so they all retreated. Um, there's a whole bunch of musketeers here, um, and let's see if I can charge these here because they sort of went all the way around. Um, maybe I can get my artillery ready to go. I mean, they're they're well formed, which is unfortunate. It means they will they will be hard to hard to fight. I mean, Napoleon's still alive, which is good. I'll get the bonus from him fighting. Um, hopefully he doesn't die in the charge. I mean, it's a lot of... Uh, I need to get rid of all the, the Russian Empire flags. General wounded, so there goes Napoleon. Uh, whatever. Frightening enemy unit. I mean, frightening enemy unit is probably the main thing that is making me uh, come back and win. Uh, and let's see if I can. I mean, I don't want to shoot my own men down, right? That's the thing. But uh, if uh, if it comes down to that, then that's what I need to do. Here. Who do I have left? Let's take a look. I've got uh, the young guard, the old guard, some caressie, and uh, the artillery. Um, and uh, what are these here? Musketeers? I have a group of musketeers. Um, Okay, it's it's not a lot, but I can I can win. I'll bring it over here, especially because I have a piece of artillery, right? I think I I've been playing this map a little bit wrong. I think I need to charge. Um, probably when I was playing it as a newbie. Um, I just all I knew was charging right and um, and uh, trying to shoot them out doesn't work because um, I don't have as many men but here here are my cuirassier. Um the question is can I send my horsemen to attack them I can't because they have so many so many musketeers here look musketeer is confident confident and I didn't win my left flank right if I had won the left I'd be all right here um, So maybe what I need to do is uh, get in the melee really quickly. Uh, I think this is still a lost match. There's there's a chance to win, right? But it'll it'll not be a very uh, very satisfying win because I'll know that I, I did better when I was totally new to this game. Let's move this up here.
and losing those three fusilier units on the left flank to they had a horse and they had two musketeer units that wasn't very good right what i needed to do was uh um uh their horse the the allied horse they sort of ran off to the right and abandoned me which was not good uh, i didn't expect that to happen um let's see what we've got left we've got some horse left here um and some musketeers and we've got an artillery piece right the question is even at at the highest point here shooting the artillery piece can can i um can i basically uh Feed them right. Confident, exhausted, inspired by a nearby unit. Um, let's see, are, are they moving or are they not moving? That's the question. It's right? a big question. Let's see if I can go over here with my artillery. Quite a lot of time left, right? The main question is can I defeat three units of musketeers and um, and all this artillery with only a little bit of time left? The answer is probably no, right? But uh, I'm not giving up that easily. Okay, they're they're coming on the way. They're 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 marching towards me. Musketeers running, confident. Um, let's do this. Let's um, let's have everyone like this, right? gonna put our horse gonna put our artillery on top of this hill here and uh, they're gonna march march towards me and get shot up if I can beat uh, how many is it two two musketeers are they are they gonna mar march towards me that's the question right that's a big question. They're gonna march towards me. Are they just gonna stand there? If they're gonna stand there, I can bring more artillery in range and start to attack, right? could just start pounding them with artillery the problem is there's a timer on the map so I can't just stand back and destroy them with artillery I have to attack
All right, we got to get close enough so that we can shoot him with the artillery. But at the same time, uh, I mean, if they're, if they're sort of like this here and bunched up, that would be ideal. The problem is if they charge right now, I wouldn't have the time to unlimber right. So maybe what I can do is unlimber right now and start shooting them. All right, you see? them and they're, they're probably not gonna line up in time to attack and and they're running one of their musketeer units back I don't know why they're doing that and he's charged bonus ready am I shooting them or not they're getting ready Oh, it looks like, I mean, that's it, right? They got off one volley on my old guard. They didn't attack all at once for whatever reason. Um, so there's two musketeer units and two cannons left. And I've got uh, two depleted units left, right? Let's see if they start attacking running down this hill. Steady, tired, maybe I can wait a little bit, they won't be tired anymore. Confident, tired. Walking, winded. So if you let them walk a little bit, um, They'll go from tired to winded. They'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea. Here. Depends if... Uh, I don't want the horses to get glitched like they usually do. Young guards still have bullets, so I want to. Um, and there's there's not much time left. I need to route these two horse units and then defeat defeat this map, right? a while for them to get get ready with let's do this here and if they decide not to come towards me I will bombard them with cannonballs I can send my horse around here. This is another fort here. Um, I get shot by my own cannons.
I'm sending my force around. And maybe I'll be able to route those two cannon units as these two are sort of pinned down by the artillery here. across in front of them, what will happen is um, they'll start using canister. I do not really want that to happen. I mean, they're not they're not set up to shoot, right? So let's see if I can I can just do that. Uh, if they're not set up to shoot, maybe I can get away with it. And I won't click the unit until I'm right on top of them because clicking the unit will probably force them to do something. Let's hope their canister doesn't, I should be able to, with 45 horse, I should be able to survive a couple canister shots before I get right on top of them. Yeah, I see, I, I, I am surviving. I mean, let's see what's going on here. They're still trying to protect that crossing. I'm right on top of them now. It's too late for them. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're getting ready. They're getting ready to shoot canister. Shit. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. These ones are not shooting anymore. I mean, they're still able to shoot while they're in melee, which is interesting. Let's see this here. All right, and, and it looks like they're charging their, um, they should be in range of my canister now. See this? And thirty-eight horse against twenty-one uh, artillery men. I, I should win that. All right, that's it. Um, Let's send my 38 horse down, it's gonna come down to the last man now. Charge him down the hill, I should should be able to beat him. Oh, they retreated. <laughs> That's it, losing the artillery was too much for them. That's it. Um, uh, there we go, uh, and we beat the map, it was pretty freaking dirty, and we did actually worse than when I was totally new to the game, and then it took a couple tries, but um, that's it, the uh, the battle of, uh, of, of Freeland, and um, after after the battle, um, um, basically there was, there was a peace, and uh, the Treaty of Tibbles, and um, um, that's... Um, that's that's basically basically what happened. Um, okay, I'll see everyone later, and uh, maybe I'll play this map again and do a little bit better. Um, and um, I think the key for this map is um, to use your melee a lot because you have um, a lot of really good melee fighters, right? Um, Russia, Russia, Austria, Britain, even Sweden. Let them come. I mean, he's pretty confident for someone who was killed, uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at this. Ferdinand. Uh, it's only the second time I played this map, right? Uh, enemy killed. 
losses 553, enemy killed 878, right? So I didn't, I killed more than I lost, but not by very much, right? And, uh, it's, I killed 50% more than I lost, right? But uh, some of these, look at these units here. Um, and the Fusiliers were the ones who did very, very badly. They underperformed massively, right? Because um, basically, I kept them in square, and um, and uh, they had a horse unit attached to attach my to attack my uh, to attack my to attack my infantry. So I kept them in square, but square is very bad against infantry, right? So I wasn't able to beat the the French, the the Russian musketeers. But um, I, still, I managed to uh, manage to beat this. I think the second time I play this, what I'll do is I will. Um, I might experiment with sending the dragoons or or the Karasi to the to the left, and um, I think what has to happen is I have to not engage on the left flank until they're engaged. Then then I can come in and fight with the squares. Um, if I don't do that, if I do that too early, if I attack too early, then um, the computer gets very smart. I mean, this is the smartest I've seen the computer. Um, they sent, they kept only one horse and two musketeers on my left flank to fight three of my fusiliers, and they sent everything else to uh, to try and try and uh, try and defeat me on on the right, and and it almost worked, right? But um, um, luckily, I uh, I was able to defeat them in the end. Anyway. Uh, See everyone later.